After completing a government job interview, the same question comes up over and over again. When will I hear back? It's been one week, two weeks, three weeks. I haven't heard anything. Well, let's talk about it. No matter our performance during the interview, we all want that feedback or even a sense of closure. There are several good reasons on why you have not heard back from your interview. Number one is the interviews are not over. It's not just you interviewing. Oftentimes it's four to six people. And this can sometimes be scheduled out in a week, but other times it can blend into two or even three weeks depending on people's availability. Sometimes we feel like we're the only applicant that's interviewing and we lose patience and we want the hiring process to go faster. But as you know, there's nothing fast about the federal hiring process. Number two is you could be a backup. Number one might have been already identified and that's not you, you're number two. So what HR is trying to do is they want to see if the number one candidate will accept the offer because that person could have accepted another offer at a different agency or maybe they failed the background check or failed negotiations. They wanted more pay. They were trying to get a higher step and the agency didn't want to give it to them. So for whatever the reason, if the number one isn't able to go through with the hiring process, that's when you come into play. That's when they'll offer you if you're still interested in this job. And a lot of times they won't tell you that you're the backup. They won't tell you that you're number two. You won't figure it out until weeks after the interview has taken place. Number three is the HR office is behind. And this could be because of lack of employees, because of sick leave, or they're just understaffed. And this isn't just a problem with HR offices. This is a problem throughout the whole federal government. Sick leave, poor transitions, and understaffing can be a serious problem and it can result in the candidates not hearing back for weeks. Understand that a lot of HR specialists, they're not just managing one job announcement. They have multiple or a dozen job announcements and each of them have different priority levels. Yours might not be at a high priority and that's why you're not hearing back from them. So that means the problem is not really your office, but it's the HR office that's with the agency. Now, when I was hired at the Department of Veteran Affairs, I thought the HR office was in the building or at least around Washington, D.C. But in reality, our HR office was in Austin, Texas. So as I'm wandering down the halls trying to figure out who's the HR rep for our agency, it took me a while to realize they're not even in the same state. So with that being said, sometimes there's a disconnect between the HR office and the actual office that you're being hired into. Number four is you didn't ask and HR never informed you. This is relatively rare, but at a certain point in time, you need to reach out to the HR point of contact and ask them what the status of the job announcement is. There are times where it slips through the crack and you've been selected, but you're never notified. And because the hiring manager has your resume and on your resume, your phone number and your email address is there, the hiring manager can oftentimes reach out to you and ask you, has HR contacted you yet? In my experience, I had one hiring manager at the Department of Labor tell me directly after an interview, if HR does not extend you a job offer by the end of the week, then make sure you contact me. And he handed me his business card. Number five, waiting on HR to make a decision. There are times where the hiring manager is still deliberating on who to select for the job offer. Now keep in mind, the hiring manager does not have to pick anybody. Say the hiring manager interviews six people. They're not obligated to hire any one of those six. Instead, they can tell HR to pull that job announcement and to repost it at a later date. This is often done when the HR manager just isn't happy with any of the candidates. And then after a second job announcement has been posted, they're still not obligated to pick anybody. So if you apply to one of these positions and you see the job announcements being reposted and then it gets reposted again and you keep applying, if you haven't been selected for an interview, then keep on applying to those job announcements. Matter of fact, what you should do is retweak your resume, make it a little bit stronger and then apply again, especially if you really want that job. And if you did conduct an interview, but you were not selected and the job announcement comes back on usajobs.gov, apply again and use that as motivation to prepare even more for the next interview that you get. In my experience overall with federal jobs, I found on average it takes about two to three weeks after the interview to hear back from HR. However, in one job, I went to interview and then about four hours later, I had the job offer in my email the same day. I believe it was a Friday. Couldn't believe it because we always hear these stories, these nightmare stories of it taking weeks or months to hear back. 
So the fact that I actually received an offer after just four hours, my mind was blown. My advice in most situations is just to forget it. You apply to a job announcement, forget about it. You refer to a job announcement, forget about it. You go to an interview, interview the best way you can and then forget about it. Otherwise, it'll always linger in the back of your head. I wonder what happened. I wonder what's gonna happen next week. It'll always constantly be consuming time and energy in your life. And there's really nothing you can do to control it at that point. But there is something that you can always control, and that is the number of times you're applying and the strength of your resume. Now, if you're watching this, but you're not happy with the amount of interview requests you've been receiving lately, then I want you to watch this video next. If you wanna see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.